What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? We are live, ready to do this. Uh, we got a lot going on. We got to talk about the market today and all the good stuff in the building. All right, let's make sure everything's working. All the what up, Elliot? How are you, sir? What up, Elliot? How are you, sir? Don't be shy. Say hello. Don't be shy. Say hello. Uh, you can't say hello when you're muted. It just doesn't work that way. Or we'll see. Or moving I thought on. I unmuted myself. Dang it. Oh, stop with the excuses, bro. What's up, man? How are you feeling, man, man? I don't lie. We were, we were talking yesterday. It's like when you sleep. Uh, sometimes when you sleep too much, you feel tired. Yeah. Well, yeah, I had that actually yesterday. It's kind of weird you said yeah. that. It's me, my little aura ring said I slept for eight yeah. hours, and I'm like, why am I so tired? It, that never happens like that, but <laughs> I don't know. Could be the post-turkey situation. Post-turkey. Post yeah, man. Holiday weekend, yeah. It's a lot. Yeah, so a lot's going on, bro. You know, it's funny. We predicted the market last week. Talked about being bearish, you know, all that good stuff. <laughs> And today, it looks like we're ready to go again. You know, nice. it's like we predict this stuff like, uh, like I don't know how, but it just happens. <laughs> because we kind of know what's going on. But I want to welcome everybody. If you're in the building, say hello. Comment hello. See, I like that Brian already knows. Balaji knows. Mark Cunningham knows. And if you're watching the replay, comment replay below. I always like to see as far as Brian, uh, who's watching that. I was going to say Brian, uh, Brian Norris, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, he sent me something on. I got it, him already, bro. I was going to say, I, if, listen, if, he could, if he could bring Troy, up. Troy, Tech, and Turn. Me. I already got all three of them yeah. unlisted here. Come on, man. Yeah. We are not messing around today. Bring, bring the question. Bring the question here, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's uh, he's actually mobile. I, I know he talked to one of our guys today. So yeah. I know hopefully he had a great conversation with uh, Sir Jackson himself. All right. All right, so um, you want to – did you get my text, uh, Elliot? Uh, yeah. My man. So let's get this going, guys. Welcome, Johnny. Welcome, welcome. Love to see people getting involved in the community. Greg Crop, what's up? Kelly Myers, Charles Norris, but welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, so, yeah, I want to review actually what we talked about last week. Uh, did you have any of the, the stocks that we played? Yeah, it was I don't NVIDIA. remember. Yeah. All right, cool. So we're going to pull that up. And what do we say about it? It's going to come down, right? Uh, no, no, no. We had it for yeah, last week. Uh, it was a bullish candle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah, 165, okay. 170. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what we were predicting? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Was, yes. Yeah, it was flagging. Yeah, I remember that very well. So yeah, again, uh, we call these out for free, guys. That's what we do. We call them out for free for a reason. So we're gonna get this going now, and we're gonna look at the market today and see what we could predict. And again, we've been like ninety-five percent accurate. So uh, let's get this going. Um, did cool. you get the? Did you do all that stuff? Uh, Elliot, you got it all set up for us? Yeah. All right. Good boy. All right. So let's look at the market overall. So I know last week we, we talked about one is NVIDIA. You know, when we looked at NVIDIA, I told you guys, I thought it was going to be a great day coming up. And I want to show you what happened. This is exactly where it was. You could go back to what we were at. It was such a beautiful play. And you could see it popped up. It was around 150. I think it was one. 58 when we saw it went all the way exactly what we kind of thought 165 170 beautiful play on a swing so if you had a chance to do that freaking good that's awesome uh i'm glad if you did so either way guys that's what we do we predict the plays for free here if you're joining us now this is a good chance for you to check out what we do how we do it and and i'm going to show you right now what is going to happen this week? Just like we predicted a downside last week. A lot of you guys showed me 150, 200% profits. And you're doing it without the complications, especially a lot of our paid members as well. But even here, we're going to show you exactly what's going on. So here's the deal, guys. What I'm seeing right now 
is uh, this is Nvidia, so we played this the right way. Perfect. Now let's look at the market and see what happened and what's going on. We are going through a very interesting time in the market right now because what we talked about yesterday, I said, guys, we hit this red line. This is called a 200 day moving average. What does that mean? It's simple. It means it's going to bounce. And a lot of people were like, oh man, the market's bullish. And I warned everyone last week, you could go back and check it out. What I said last week, it's going to go down. It is ready to go down. And it did. So a lot of you guys played this. You listen to what I had to say. A lot of you guys been here for over two, three years joining me. Hmm. So you know the 95% way of doing things. Again, a lot of people say they, they claim they're great traders. We do it for free to show you what we do first. And that's what this is all about, is to give you clarity on how, what you could do so you could use this and profit in the market. Overall, right now, what we're going to see is what's happening. Well, I'm going to show you a little trend, okay? This is called a channel, and it's an upward channel, okay? And it's kind of consolidating a little. It's kind of getting smaller. Now, this could be a very good thing, guys, and I think what's going to happen is we're going to continue possibly maybe going a little bit down, possibly all the way to 390 this week, you know? Now, it could stop here. It could kind of lay here, but what we're going for right now, because this candle right here is called a doji. A doji is an indecision. So we don't really know. Right now, the market's saying, okay, great. You know, we kind of had our move up. We had our move down. But when we really look at just the overall Fibonacci, it's right in the middle. So it's an indecisive candle. So the right thing to do right now is say, hmm, maybe we wait. Because if it breaks this channel here, let me remove some of these pieces here. You know, if it breaks this channel, guess what? Guess what? What's going to happen is we're going to see it come to the downside. So we want to see it go below 390. And if it goes even below 380, we're going to see a big downward. But what I think could happen, here's the big one, guys and girls and animals, who, whoever joining. Look at this, Elliot. Look at this. Talk about the big Elliot wave. Big you see Elliot. that? <laughs> this right here. Is pretty cool because what this is showing us here is we've been running this for a while and been getting rejected. But what happens is when this starts coming up, man, we're going to see one of the biggest bullish periods in the recent history or well, recent history. I mean, a couple of weeks, but that's the thing right there is we are looking at this with little consolidation here popping out. And now we got something big happening. So very, very cool. Very exciting. So this week, we're hoping to see a bounce back to the top to 406. 406, I'll feel really good about it, seeing this thing go to the top. Now, if you're new here, I'd love to show you any stocks you want. If you want to have certain plays you want me to go over, any questions you have, man, this is what we're here for. Um, I'm not paying attention. Um, so yeah, Balaji, check out this. Uh, okay. Yeah. Guys, uh, did you remove these guys? Trying to. So. Sonny, man, come on, bro. Why you got to spam? Uh, who else we got here? Hold on. Yeah, this guy that like, posted every. We got to block him. Sorry, guys. It's hard to see your messages because this guy. Yeah, whatever you do, do not go to that website that he's posted putting Tom Sonny because he's. That's one of the guys who like, spams my account and then tries to take your money. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Sonny. All right, let me see. Now I'm trying to get through all these messages. Man, he posted in every single one. Mm -hmm. Guys, please don't click that information because that's those are those spammy links. And people complained about them before. Unfortunately, I try to kick as many people as I can. All right, I see people putting Geo. We have a list going, right, uh, Elliot? Yeah. On our... Can you put it on there? And oh, I, I was just um, writing them down. I was going to call them out as you as you were. Apple. Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay. Apps. Somebody put apps, I think. MMTL. Yeah. Can you uh, sh share that thing with us? Don't we have like a notebook we share? Or do you want me to share a new one? Yeah, share a new one. Um, I, forget. Right. I forget. I have a bunch of notes saved on there. <laughs> I don't have that one titled, though. 
All Hello. good, all good. Okay, so I'll put you in here, guys. Sorry about that. All right, so let's get this going, and let's check this out. Right. Top the spot. No need to yell. Oh. <clears throat> all right, I can't get these all going right now. Um, Here we go. All right, we have a big list here, guys. Big list. I just I just sent you a thing to your me email uh, message. So you right. should be you should be getting get now. All right, cool. Um, all right, so let's look at um, Apple, and then we're gonna look at I guess apps. Apps. Yeah, up. somebody posted apps. Uh, new to the stock market. Oh. If you. If you sell when it's up, do they tax your money right then and there? Or would do you? No, I mean, I'm not an accountant, but I can tell you for mine, they just, whatever you make, it's towards the end of the year. I know uh, yeah. I know with the Biden administration, they wanted to change that to like some craziness. But usually it's just whatever your profit or loss is towards the end of the year, they look at that and just add it to whatever your income is. And then they pick that, pick that tax level up. William Hasten Bottle, what's up? Casey Martin, how are you? Welcome, welcome here. All right, cool. So let's go into the market and let's look at what's going on. What do you think? You you down or what, Elliot? Let's do it. I can't don't I, be I don't have that list, but I said it, it, might, it, be, it might be easier if we, I just call them out because every time I go back and forth on my uh, mobile device to see what people are saying and updating that list it, it starts lagging behind and i miss some of them okay okay cool so let me see, unless i open up another browser window that could be the solution it could be um let me see here yeah yeah apps you went over apps already no no i'm trying to pull all this up here apps. right now one second okay sorry for the delay guys sorry for the delay just trying to get everything uh, for some reason my screen wasn't working properly now it is all right so let's get into it usually we're pretty quick with this so everybody who's uh paying attention let's get this going we talked about the market now now let's look at our list because I can't keep all these screens yeah. up here. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so you're not posting them on here. Okay, Troy. Let's look at the, so we have a few stocks here. Apple, let's go with Apple first. Um, Apple is very down right now. So obviously it's looking like it's, it's going to a downturn. That could be a good thing because... Uh, First, it looks like it's a really strong downturn. And it looks like it's coming down really, really down below its averages. For whatever reason, it, it, it has very strong volume. Don't be surprised. This thing continues going down, even up down to here. You never know. But I'm expecting 138, the minimum. So I would say great bearish play. It has a nice golden cross here. Great switch to the histogram. So expect tomorrow to be a bearish play. After that, might we might have to uh, chill down for a little bit. So, yep. So that's the deal with that. Apple. Yeah, Apple, I think, is look, we're looking to the downside for yeah. sure. Uh, then we have uh, somebody asked about apps. Yeah, All right, I see what order you're in. Right. Um, someone wasn't paying attention. So, yeah, so apps, I think, you know, this is, a, 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 I don't know if Felix is in the building. That would used to be his stock. Yeah, that was his baby. A lot of money. Yeah, so this one here popped up nice. What happens a lot of times people want to get in, and I always say, no, don't do that, because you probably got rocked over here. Right now it's in a consolidation, so you got to be pay attention, because once it pops up again, it might do some big moves. Personally, I don't like this stock right now. I think it's just too much um, volatility that's not, really good for it because it usually doesn't do that so we want to see it calm down first give it a little bit more of a time to kind of get back into pattern and then we could do something yeah. um geo -E 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 -
So Gio, you know, this was a good one because it popped up really nice. We'd have to see what happens towards the end of the day here. Um, but what you could almost see here, it had a nice consolidation, popped up nice. It would have been a great move today. Let's see what happens. I love the volume, but it is gapped up. So it usually means it's kind of news driven mm -hmm. and could be kind of a died out situation. I personally would not trade it at this time just because it's so high up. Um, again, we'd have to see it at the end of the day. Maybe there's a little bit of a move, but when it's so high, like again, if you look over here, there's just too much, too much already. There's going to be some sellers coming in on that one. So to me, I don't know if I would be a big fan of something like that. I see a lot of members in it. Jason, I'm back. Oh man, Jason Tamavsky in the building. Love Jason. Man, that man is a uh, full of energy. Oh yeah, what's the mask? Nice. <laughs> huh? I saw Jason and thought Mead right away, but oh man, what's going on? That's yeah. pretty cool. Pretty cool. Where um, where to next here? Um, we have uh, Lee Auto L I. I have other ones here. Yeah, yeah. I I got them all in order from how they came. What is it? L I. Yeah, L I. Uh, Li. Now this one, uh, I like the volume on this because it's looking like there's some consistent um, consistency coming with the green here. I like that. Very good. Eight million. Um, it is kind of coming. It's forming this A to B, B to C, C to D pattern, which I really like. You could see here coming in strong. I what I would really like to see is it break this twenty. Because when it breaks this area here, man, we're going to see some good stuff because it's going to break this consolidation. Don't trade this at all until we see it get to around 20. 20 is like the magic number there for us to uh, see some big things happening. All right. What's your next? Uh, we have BTU. BTU. Yeah, I believe it's a thermal coal. Ah, I, li I like these are nice little plays here. So BTU, I like that it's kind of again. This is a nice consolidation we had here, broke through the consolidation. Um, if we're lucky because it's been going for a while, the volume is decent, definitely decent. Uh, it broke through here. I love it. Uh, our next move is here, so expect this to possibly get to thirty three. I like this play. So this one looks like it's a very solid move from a consolidation. No yeah. gaps, no nothing. And you could see very good histogram here. Nice little play to the top on the volume. I think this is a good one. What's up, Randy? How are you? Ram, Ram Kumar, Gary Clark, Ed Garcia, Jamea Peterson. I haven't heard from you in a while. Patterson, sorry. That's been a long time. <laughs> Where's the next? Uh, we have SPXU. I mean, that's probably just like the spy. Hold on, let me look at that tech. So I know um, Brian wanted tech. T E C K. Uh, see, uh, Brian's been studying because I know he he's in one of our courses too, and you could see what he's looking at here. Looking pretty good. Um, I like what it, bro. It's just broke two hundred moving day average. I'm going to tell you right now. I think this is going to be going up. I have no problem seeing it going at least a dollar, possibly even 37. Either way, a great options play with this would be phenomenal. Would definitely be yeah. phenomenal. I'm glad you're doing good, uh, Randy. Jamea, man, I remember I haven't talked to you. I talked to you a long time ago, man. It's been like over probably a year and a half, two years. Hope you're doing good. Uh, so tech looks good. Uh, turn. Let's look at turn. Uh, turn, um, what turn. have we got in turn? Oh. Yeah, somebody, this was uh, another Brian stock. Yeah, I just don't like it. It's $5. It's kind of cheap. It, it has these crazy moves. It's it's forming a consolidation. But with these small dollar amounts, you yeah. call, you know, you might, excuse me, you might be looking for something that could really hurt you. Yeah, I see people coming up with more stocks. All right, well, we're, I got apps. Oh, Apple, oh it's E U R N E U R N. That's what it was. All right. <laughs> All right, I got Troy, and then we'll look at it. The one you're saying. <clears throat> I don't see it here. E U R N. You said? Yeah, he didn't mean turn. Uh this one here just came down, but again, uh, this one is a is in a position. 
of indecision because technically we're seeing some big downside, but it's also kind of hitting this area here. So to me, it's almost looking to me, if I had to put a Fibonacci on here, very close. <clears throat> it might come down, it depends on today finishes, to 17. Personally, I would wait till it gets to this area and see if we could do a reverse play. But until then, be very, very careful with that. Again, these are the th this is how we predict all these things because we understand the patterns. And again, if you're enjoying the show, man, let us know. Um, we have a great uh, uh, video for you. We could check out for you to help you out and give you some clarity on how we predict everything here. So let me know. Just comment video below. Where to next? Uh, we got RCII, Renner Center. RCII. Um, a very healthy pattern here. I like what I'm seeing here. Because again, it came down, came up, and it looks like it's breaking through this mm -hmm. little consolidation here. I think it may not explode, but I think it's a safe bet to see, even if it comes down a little bit, you don't want to buy a short-term option on this. But listen, man, if if we could get this, I think it could definitely break through this for sure. If if I see this get past um 23 and a half, I'd probably buy it. I probably yeah. buy it. If not even now, I mean, I'm pretty, I like it kind of now too. You know, we had a good volume yesterday, another big upswing. So even if it comes down a little, I don't think it's going to just flop down. I don't see that happening. So overall, good stuff there. Good stuff. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, so everybody who's commenting video, I'm going to have somebody give that to you very shortly. Um, What about the next one? What is the next one? Um, SPXU. You know what I'm going to do here, Elliot? Why don't you tell us a little bit about this one? You you kind of what already spoke about it with the, uh, what is this, uh, Ultra? So this does the exact opposite of the SPY. It, what do you mean? So before they made options and stuff, the only way you can make money to the downside was either short selling or they created these ETFs that do the inverse of the SPY. And this is one of them. So if you were feeling that the SPY is bullish, you go bearish on this. So being that you already said the spies in like an interesting area, I feel the same way about this one as well. Hmm. Fine, you win. No, but I see, and, it, and it's a good pattern here. Yeah, I would say you could keep, like the spy just had a double top type of thing where this one looks like it's setting up for a double bottom. Neither one is confirmed yet, so I wouldn't want to play either one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, but you know what I will tell you about this one I like? You could see a sneak preview. I'm going to tell you right now, I feel very uh, bullish about this coming up. You got the volume that's bullish. You got these kind of pointing in that right direction. Yeah. <laughs> we just got to get a little bit more. Yeah. A little bit more, man. And so, again, what level? Always, you, yeah, what level what do you think? What is that? 16, right? 16, 16 and a half. Probably get it going to the upside. Uh, yeah. And then I would for the say, spy to the downside, it's like you probably want to see it below 390. 390? Yeah, check it out. <laughs> oh, spy. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. yeah, spy. Yeah, because these do the opposite. If it gets yeah, up yeah, there, yeah. that means spy is probably around 390. I like this. I think if, yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay, we could look at spy in one second here. <clears throat> uh, you're saying spy to 390 ah yeah, yeah, yeah like if it saying. were to fall below 390 it'd probably yep. go further down absolutely yeah we talked about that earlier today yeah. if you were on the live here right. all right cool 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 where to next uh we got oxy oxy yeah, what is it Enter oxy oh yeah oxy <laughs> so oxy looks pretty good to me too is, is it something I'll invest in right this ex second? No, because uh, you can see this is coming down like this. It's coming into a consolidation. I want to see this thing break to 73, 74, bro. This is going to explode. Yeah. So this is another one of those watch list situations. Uh, you see the momentum looking down, so you might be tripped into that. Don't worry about that because it's been going down. We're already looking ahead. That's how you. That's how you get through this. So, yeah, so it's, that's pretty cool. Uh, I like that one a lot, actually. What's the next one? Um, 
Whoa. M M T L P. Okay, metamaterials. <laughs> I'll let you go over this one, bro. Come on, let me see what you got here. Um, I would never. I'll say that right away. Um, no options. All right, so this doesn't seem like a normal type of stock. It doesn't have like, you know, before October, it had something kind of normal. You know, it was consolidating. Uh, and then it broke out. But now it's just overstretched. Um, it's a cheap stock. It's less than a million volume. Like there's, I just wouldn't get involved with it. It seems like a very catalyst driven kind of stock. I don't like catalyst driven stocks. That that's yeah. Like if this came across Agreed. on the screener for me, I'd just swipe right by it. Okay. Well, that's just you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fair. It is just. No, me. no, no. I agree with you. I agree with you 100%. <laughs> I figured I'll get you a little bit involved today. We have a nice no, little no, crowd. No. And again, guys, everybody who's got a video, who's posting, like I said, man, uh, we got some great material for you. I'll have a, uh, I'll probably get back to you in, once I'm done with the live and send everybody that. So please, if I comment, DM me. It's very hard to get to everybody. So just click on that DM button. You'll see a response from me. And if you see anybody else responding to you with different links, we saw a guy earlier. Please don't click on it. We try to get rid of as many spammers as I can. And, and whenever you see any kind of things like that, just if it's not coming from me or one of my team members like Elliot or Chris, don't click on it, man, please. I don't want anybody getting messed up. We're trying to work with a Facebook right now to make it even better. But what else we got? Um, we have Amazon. Amazon. Uh, Amazon is it a consolidation? Now it is. It's it's been just not doing well, and right now here's the thing about this: nothing lasts forever. It had a big downturn. Mm -hmm. It is stuck in this 50-day moving day. It's in this 50% line from the Fibonacci. Again, if this is all like very confusing for you, strongly recommend just comment video below so I could send you some information to give it a clear for you. That's what it's all about here. Um, so yeah, we want to see this get to around 97-ish. Once it gets to 97, it means it's starting to break out. This could be a huge move then. But we need to see it then, and then it forms into an A to B, B to C, C to D pattern. We haven't seen it in a while. Again, put this on the watch list. I think you're going to see some great results, but we need to make sure you know exactly what you're doing. Cool. Mm -hmm. So I just, uh, I, if you guys saw, I just asked uh, one of my assistants to post. It says, reach out to me here. Um, I'm going to, uh, pin this comment. That is me pinning it. Um, so please make sure if you have any questions or if you want any of the videos, you could just click. If you, you could comment video. That's great. That's easier. If you just, uh, DM me there, I have my assistant right now. They're going to be able to get you all the free content to help you out. Again, our goal is to give you, I'm showing you the results every week here, what we do, 95% win ratio. You can go back and look at all my videos. We have nothing to hide here, 20,000 members strong. But if you want that, if you want extra stuff, if you want courses, if you want certain free material to give you clarity on the market so you could be profitable, just DM me right there. So, and I will definitely help you out. Where's the next? Um. UA sounds like Under Armour. UA was that Under Armour? Right. Like Under Armour or United <laughs> Artists? Uh. Yeah, it is Under. <laughs> uh, this could be a big play, bro. I like this one. So it, it kind of just hit this moving day average with such a strong consolidation. It's beginning to pop a little open. The volume's a little low right now, so that's the only thing. So it's a little flat. We need to see a little bit more. Uh, but I'm, uh, it's also a little tough to say because if it's a little more, is it going to get here? So I would say if it gets to around like maybe a little less than nine, I think it's a go. I think it's a go. If not even now, I might even want to play yeah, that now, bro. I, I kind of like yeah, might want to yeah. go play that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause the volume is still at over a million. It's just kind of there, but overall, man, I like this. I would probably That's invest nice a little setup. bit in that one. I like that one. Where to next? Um, G R W G G R W G is I like this one too. Now I don't like the fact that it's a, a cheaper stock, so that's probably something I, I'm not a fan of. But 
when it's such a beautiful, strong move to the top and then strong move to the bottom. And now, you know, you see this flag pattern forming. Now it's beginning to kind of pop up with this beautiful volume. I think there's a nice chance to get to around 6.75 and that could be a huge move. And again, little flat over here, but that's because it's been consolidating. So it all makes sense to me. Definitely one I would play if it was a little bit more. Uh, but again, that's everybody's different how they want to play that. What's up, Steven Novin, Steven Wilson, Gustavo John Chun, Greg Crop. No problem, brother. No, anytime, man. And if you're enjoying the show, man, thank you so much. I'd love to, if, um, yeah, if you could just give me some hearts. I'd like to count the hearts at the end and to see who, who loves the show. So I, I just clicked some hearts. If you're liking the show, can I get some hearts here and see? Uh, I like it. I just want to get some feedback. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Or you could just type in love it. I count those two. Elliot counts the love it's. So if you want to just, have, you know what, Elliot, I'm going to run it. it. So you, I'm going to put one in here just because I'm loving it. And I don't know if that's, I guess it could uh -oh. be a little biased. It might be a little. You can you do. It might be some copyright stuff. Oh, I I, with it. What? You? Uh, I'm loving it. Uh, can you do MMA? I like that. Uh, you see, Navel this really knows how to get my attention. A little hard, a little LOL, a little <laughs> you hoo. Like, dude, I love you know. I like the LOLs. I like to love, and I love to drink you hoo. Now it's a little high in sugar, to be honest with you. Mm, I haven't but had I'll check out. A long time. I know, but you know, for that trying, I will got it. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. Appreciate Josh. Oh, Josh, man, I, that, that's one of our elite members. Here. He's been Good having man. some sessions with you. Mm -hmm. uh you can mmat and cosm okay yeah uh yeah this one looks pretty again you like it this cheap stocks that's you know that's on you but a lot of volume on this stock here um so because of that, you could see it's coming down really strong has this nice up candle here um overall i think it's good i think you're going to see a nice move i mean it's just you could see it just bounces perfectly here nice up channel oops totally messed that up but uh, beautiful up channel. Definitely expect us to see a 20. I don't see it going down right now. I think we're going to see the 220, 225. Maybe it comes down like 10 cents, 15 cents max. But if you buy a stock, which you could afford a stock in this because it's $2, definitely a good play here. Definitely. A blue, like, can, uh, yeah, I see a lot of people. <laughs> Thank you for everybody who typed in love it, man. And listen, we'll do the show for free for you. Asking for a love it in return. I don't think that's that much. I know Elliot might have a problem with it, but don't listen to him. <laughs> uh, where to next? Oh, no, there was a CO, was it? Oh, I lost it. COSM, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, COSM. COSM. COSM is way too overstretched. So this is something you got to be careful with. These are plays you just try to stay away. First of all, the stock is not even 200 <clears throat> days old. So right away, it's too new. Okay, they don't really trade options. Okay, um, it's still trying to figure this out. Now, the volume is insanely high, but that's not a good situation. Look, it's been going so high. Here's what I'm going to tell you right now. By next week, talk to me. Talk to me next week. Bring the stock up, and I bet you you're going to see, oh, shoot. Why is it going down to 0.4? I don't know. So... <laughs> Call me out on it. Join me next week, nah, and we'll th see. Th this is one of the stocks that the broker kind of advertises as up 50% type of thing. Yeah, just to yeah. bait you in. Be careful with the meme stocks. Again, the way we yeah. trade, we don't like, to, you know, um, I personally, like I said, I left my job, and I did this. But I did it in a way where even while I was working, I could trade. And to do that, you have to do it without any complicated indicators, without watching YouTube channels that confuse you. Like you have to have a specific system. That's why I even designed this to give people an easy system that they could work while still working and trading and create a game plan to passively even leave your job and spend more time with, you know, helping animals or helping uh, kids and things like that. Like I like to help people change their lives. Everybody's different. Everybody's different. Yeah. So Navel does, it's a good question. I want to stop here for a second. What you just said, uh, you heard about mm -hmm. the CEO. A lot of people heard about the CEO, yeah, you know, yeah. but when you're listening to those type of things, you're kind of guessing it's just, it's news driven and it's very manipulated. And listen, I heard a lot of things, but trust me, if everybody could just hear things and, and that's what they play off, everybody would be rich. There's a re there's a psychology to this. And I, I listen, 
there's about right now there's a bunch of people in here there's 40 people in here it was about 60 before and there's going to be usually around 500 to 800 people watch it over the next week i'm going to tell this to you all watch this stock tell me what happens next week okay i'm putting my name out there are we going to see that four or are we going to see that point four that is the question stay tuned next week to find out Uh, what i find interesting i'm I'm curious when did she hear this right because if it was like last week because if the ceo really has been buying it looks like he started back in the beginning of november if he Mm -hmm. was buying so it's like if you heard it now it goes back to your predator course man seriously it's like oh yeah (laughs) <laughs> I don't know if everybody watched the Predator course. Yeah, yeah I have a five to. module course to. here. Because this is a perfect example of it. Yeah, if you haven't got my five module Predator course, because I really explain how the news works <laughs> and how you have to really be careful. That's what the 10% of the winners know, how to avoid those type of things. Oh, uh, yeah, just DM me on the bottom. I have my DM here. And just ask me for the Predator course. Again, we used to charge like, what was it, 800, 850 for it? Mm-hmm. You know, we've been giving it away for certain people who are really like into really changing their lives. Again, I'm trying to really help people out. That's why we have so many members. Yeah, just DM me and ask me for the course, and uh, I'll help you out with that. What's your next? Um, we have, I always want to say Chipotle, but it's charge point, CHPT. Chipotle CGM. Yes. Yeah, CMG. CMG, CMG, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what was it again? What, what stock? I'm sorry. Uh, CHPT. CHPT. No, yeah, yeah, I see a comment, Naval. You, you, right, you just don't know. You don't know. That's why it's like, if, we, if we're sitting there arguing about a certain news, that's subjective. It's also known as fundamental analysis. I don't trade off that. I give you logic. Like, it's never what I want. I'm not a, I'm not a mind reader. I'm not this holy person. Like, people, I watch people's ads a lot of times. They're like, I know the perfect strategy. I do this. I, like... It's just logic. It's understanding human behavior, understanding how the market works, and just play off patterns. Anybody could do it. Anybody could do it. And that's the key to this. I'm not a god. If you think I'm a god, that what that tells me is subconsciously saying you can't do it. And I bet you take, you know, DM me, give me, I'll give you some content. You let me know after that how clear it is to you. So uh you might need practice, but you will understand what to do clearly instead of figuring out what video to watch, what to do. Um, so this one here, I would say it's a, it's still a very downward channel. It's kind of going through consolidation. I would not mess with the stock right now. I wouldn't. It's, it's the moving day averages are too high up. This one needs to really kind of get at least to 13 for us to even consider this personally. I need to see the the, get away from the consolidation to the upside. I wouldn't play to the downside unless maybe it gets below 11 then maybe we could see something. But as of right now, no good. What's up, Iris Rivera, uh, Damian Smith, Richard Gomez, Arena Levy, John Ruiz, Pierre Van Vick, Swapnil, Kenikar, Erica Kassan, Jay Stanley, Free Sandy. A lot of you guys in here today. Thank you for joining, man. Appreciate it. Uh, if you have any, and if you guys have any stocks you want us to review yeah. or any questions like uh, Damian just asked before, by all means, man, definitely. Oh, not Damien. Um, somebody asks. <laughs> Sorry. A R K R. So many. Uh, Valdez. Uh, which? What's the next one? A R K R. What's up, uh, Cam Campbell? So this one here, you can see. Uh, it's there's some sort of something going on with this. Like now, there's some good stuff happening. Um, overall, I mean, it looks a little weird, but I'll be honest with you, there's something to this stock. <laughs> Seriously. Today's candle. Oh, so this candle is a little bit of a gap, but look oh, at this. Uh, uh oh wait, look at the volume. Oh, that oh, explains the candle. Yeah. <laughs> and there so, it is. Uh, yeah, you gotta be careful here. This is <laughs> this is called uh a scam to me. <laughs> Where's that guy who was posting all that stuff for? When you're seeing volume at 236, guys, this is really low. I don't trade anything unless it's a million minimum. Every stock we've looked so far has been over a million. Some have been too much, but yeah, this is just something's going on here. It's just a matter of time. Even and here's what sucks about these. Sometimes you buy certain options and certain things, 
you can't even even if you're make even if it goes up, you're still losing money because you can't get rid of it. There's just not enough volume here, and um, just I'm gonna say I'm I was bullish for a second until I looked at the volume. Very bearish in this. I would not play this. I would stay away f- as far as you can from this. But that's just my two cents, and two cents are almost as much as this volume is. Ron Brabock, Jobson, Randall, Lulu Sub Subsub. Paul Kennedy, what's up? Um, crypto stocks. Well, crypto is not a stock, but yeah, I don't play too much crypto. I, I used to be into it. It's very similar, but the problem is the volatility and that a lot of the stuff, and especially with what's been going on with them and all the fraud, not something I, uh, not something I would uh, want to play right now. Where to next? Um, IPSI. Let's see. A lot of people ask me about crypto. I stick to one thing. Here's what I will tell you about. Pick something to trade. If you, I know I have a guy, uh, his name is Chris, actually. He was one of our clients. He's killing it in crypto. And he used the same psychology from here. He just enjoys crypto. That's up to you. I don't like crypto. I don't like something that's 24 hours open. But what I will tell you, the psychology of trading is the same. What I do is I provide a foundation. I provide a foundation. So, you know, and, and what the foundation means is you're not going to question yourself on what to do because you have the core foundation piece, whereas a lot of programs, a lot of things out there, there's a good, some good traders out there, they just don't know how to train. So this stock here, it's a penny stock. I don't trade a lot of penny stocks. You know, anything that you see OTC market is not regulated, so I am not about it. On top of that, 290000 in volume, this is just a gamble, man. I'm not really a big fan, so it's a I might as well just go to Vegas at that point. <laughs> What's your next? Uh, Neo, N I O. Uh, Neo, popular stock, played many times in the past. I mean, I haven't heard about it in a while. Uh, and possibly because what it's doing right now is going through a consolidation. You could see this little triangle here. Uh, this could be big. This could be pretty big, but we need to see it explode from this. So if it breaks any of these two lines, it could be big. It looks like it's getting pretty close to me. Yeah. Like if we could get this to like 11 and a half, man, um, I think it's good. it could go pretty good. Uh, the volume you could see is very, very strong on this. It's just a matter of time. But the flatness of the momentum is just letting us know it's not ready just yet. Definite watch list. Definite situation where this could be huge. We just need to see it break. Loving this, loving this, loving this. A lot of paid members too. Again, uh, we have our own group for that. Where uh, next to tomorrow, I go live and really dig deep. Where everybody joins me on Zoom, we discuss, we come up with plays, stuff, things like that. Oh, oh yeah. And if you're interested in um, getting some coaching, like your actual mentorship, that's what our bread and butter is. You're more than welcome to uh, DM me below, and just you know, just let me know you're interested to find out more. We set up an interview with you uh, there. If you like what you're seeing here, if you're interested, if if this is something that kind of catches your eye and say, hey, how do, how can I use this to be able to have a financial vehicle so I could leave my job or spend more time with your kid? If it interests you, by all means, hit me up. If not, if you're looking for just like stock picks or some crazy Discord channels and things like that, we don't do that, man. We're more of a, hey, let me hold your hand and teach you how to do it. So if that's something you feel is good and you want to try something out like that, DM me. You have the DM right on the bottom here. I'd love to go over it. I'd love to give you the information. Uh, we are picking. We only pick 16 people a month because, again, we we're doing one-on-one coaching. So it's not just about the money. It's about getting results for our people. That's why if you go to our website, um, I, could, I could send it to you as well. We have hundreds of testimonials, hundreds of people who have been in our courses. A lot of them are in here right now. We have nothing to hide. Where to next? Um, A E O. Uh, A E O is way too stretch, man. Come on, Elliot. You know this already. I know better than that. Yeah, it's a little too stretch for us on this situation here. You can see it kind of popped up. Um, it is going through a consolidation. Expect it to stay in this area, maybe for a few more days. Who knows? And my, I'm going to say you're going to see a little bit of a downturn. Definitely not something I would invest in right now. And just wanted to throw a shout out to George Campbell, Ronald Hendricks, Gary Mar- Marcello, 
Tuan Haini, Haini, Boonmi, how are you? Karen Nar, Balaji, well, Balaji's been here. Joe Caruso. Uh, cool. No problem, Johnny. Hey, man, that's what we're here for. I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate you asking the questions. Remember, every time you guys ask a question, mm -hmm. there's no stupid question. Unless Elliot asks, but that's besides the point. No, no, seriously, there's no stupid questions here. That's what we're, you know, we're here to help everybody out. So by all means, there's no judgment zone. If someone says anything dumb to you, I will kick them out myself. Uh, elephant in the room. I might kick them out. No, shut. Like they will. They said M U L M. <clears throat> Why? Is that something big? Going that's on a stock, but it's one of those uh, hype beasts, I guess, stocks. Yeah, this one here mm -hmm. is the consolidation. You could see it tried to pop up, did not go. And that's why it's important to know when to trade. Like, you know, one thing I think I'm probably going to talk about next week is the schedule of when you want to trade. That's so key. That's going to make it or break it for you. Uh, I like this one. We just need to see if it's going to retest again, but it's got to get back to this 29. And then we might see it. Definitely a watch list would not play that right now. Bill Brex, Luis Fernandez, Chaz Hawley, how are you? Randy Reese, give us the AES. What's next? MULN. MULN. Uh, yeah, so this one, a lot of volume. Can't complain about that. But again, it's just these penny stocks. I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to give anybody advice to trade these. You could go up, it could go down. It's just too much gambling. And I don't want people, even if it does go up, by the time it goes up, you'll, you'll have three ulcers. I just don't like to talk about that. Um, yeah, listen, I hear you, Navaldez, with all the stuff you're posting here. And again, that's very news driven. If you want to play that, I'm not saying you can't make money that way. Your risk tolerance has to be extremely high because guess what? I've seen this stock in the past. So, or maybe it was this one. It looks familiar where people are, or oh, it's over here, just like we saw earlier one. And they told me, no, 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 this is going to be it. Look, it has these batteries. The news was out. And then it, why did it do this? Because you listen to stock tweets. You listen to all these uh, social media things. I'll tell you all this stuff. And then when it doesn't happen, oops, oops. So be careful, man. That's why you want to, the best way to make money is not to get scammed by someone, but to actually learn the skill. Actually learn the skill. If somebody can't publicly show you how they're doing it like this, uh, and show you the results, it's be careful. This business does have people who are trying to take your money. They come in our group and try to do it. So that's why I would say DM me personally because someone's going to get you. They're going to tell you whatever, give you some crazy story, and then boom. Elliot, anything else, sir? Uh, S-P-C-E. S-P-C-E. I got you, bro. I got you. Uh, SPCE looking like we got something. Yeah. Uh, so SPCE again, it's a cheaper stock. I could tell, uh, um, probably some of one of our new members here probably picked it, but, um, like it, it's kind of in this 50, 50 zone. I'm going to tell you right now, do not invest in the stock until it gets to five 30. If it gets to five 30, that means it broke a lot of the moving day averages. I would like, I would could see it going into one of these. A to B, B to C, C to D pattern. Until it does that, though, I would stay away. Uh, Sam and Monique Johnson, welcome. Monica Lowe, Tony Maxson, hello, hello. Any other stocks, uh, Elliot? No, that's the last one, so. All right, cool, guy. Listen, today was a good session, man. A lot of great stocks, a lot of great people, man. I really appreciate everybody who's joining us. We've done a lot. And again, your job is to test me. Check out the market this week. See what my predictions are. That's the reason why we're 95%. Um, and again, if you're interested in checking out some of my videos, um, if you want me to send you some material so you can get good clarity on these charts and help you start maybe figuring out what you could do with your life. A lot of people reached out to me who have a career um, and things like that. And they just, they're happy, right? They have kids, they're, they have a career, they got kind of things, but they want more out of life. They don't want to work for a boss. And that's kind of what we do. We teach you how to trade the fastest way possible. So you could do it while you're still working. And then we could start creating a trading plan. Once you get consistent on how we could get you out of your job, if that's what you want. Some people like to do both. 
You know, we have Leo who's uh, running a restaurant. He loves it. That's like his dream. And that's great. And now he, you know, he's, but he's still making $4,000 a week with us. In fact, now he became a coach with us as well. So, you know, he's kind of uh, doing it all, but he loves it. That's his passion. Uh, for a lot of people, it's just, hey, man, I don't want to click the alarm anymore. I don't want to hear from my boss. I just want to do my own thing and focus on spending more time with my kids, things like that. For me, I love spending time with my family, but I also have this itchy desire to help people. That's why I designed this whole program, Trader Foundation is to help people out. We do this for free. We obviously have paid programs as well. You know, mentorship, Elliot is a big part of it. He's one of our coaches. He does an amazing job holding your hand through the whole thing. And we don't give up on you until you freaking get it. So again, if you're interested, if not, don't worry about it. It's not for everyone. We're not here to sell you on anything. We're not here to stronghold you. You got to want it. You got to want to be able to change your life. If you do, DM me. We'll, you know, we'll set up an interview. See if this if if you are a right fit to work with us. If not, we'll let you know. Or maybe you're not, you, you know, you feel like we're not a fit, whatever it is. If you're not interested in that, if you want to just join us here for free every week and that's going to help you, good for you. That's all. I'm glad to, to help everybody here out. Does anybody have any questions? I'll stay for, for a few more seconds if there's anybody who has anything. Uh, Sean Baird, what's, what's up, a, man? A, a recap on uh, GRWG. What was that? They might want to uh, a revisit of GRWG because they missed it. No, no. Uh, well, you're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna. The live is gonna be available here. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I hope you just free game value. If you found this, fun. yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, that's my assistant posting right there for me. Obviously, I'm not typing and saying things. So you don't watch your toe. You got your toe pad today. No, not my toe thing. Yeah. So, anyways, <laughs> guys, like I said, man, we're just here to help. I hope – I look at this as a roller coaster. I'm going to be on here every week. I've been here for three years. Elliot's been here for three years doing this every single week. That's how we grew this, this channel to 20,000 people. Wow. And we're going to continue growing it. And if you want to be a part of it, get on the coaster. If, it, if it's a bumpy ride for you, you got something going on. We got Jason Tomavsky, one of our members, doing great. He's what, we have a testimonial from him. He's been doing phenomenal, 80% winning ratio. He has been he hasn't been here in a while. No problem. He's been doing his own thing. Now he's back. Love to see him back. Either way, guys, we love helping everybody. Any questions you have, if you're confused about YouTube, if you're confused about should you join a Discord channel, should I follow, whatever it is, you want to. I know you're here for a reason. You obviously like this. So uh maybe you're intrigued, maybe you don't like it. Maybe because I tagged you, you're like, oh, let me see what this annoying guy wants. Whatever it is. Um we're just here to help. That's all. So hit me up. If you just have a few questions, that's fine too. Uh, we'll be here for you. We got your back. We're going to make sure if you really want to change your life. And you, I know a lot of you do. You just don't want to admit it because you don't want to. You're, you're comfy where you are. You feel like you're successful, but you may not be fully fulfilled. Success without fulfillment is the ultimate life failure. You don't want that. Even if you're making a lot of money in a job. You don't want to, you know, you're not, you don't want to be the richest man in the graveyard. Okay. You want to be able to enjoy your life. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be 70, 80 years old, unless you are already, um, and kind of look back and have regrets. The regret is the worst emotion for me, man. And I, that's the, that's what it kind of got me. I had a baby. I said, nah, man, I, and I was making good money. I was a director for a huge corporation, making great six figures. You know, I was making really, really good money, but something was missing. I didn't want to admit it because I got too comfortable. I couldn't give up a job like that. It was really tough. So it took a lot out of me. It, it, you know, it was, we had to go through a lot and I had to learn how to do this too. And I, it was really difficult. It took me almost eight years to really take a lot of losses and not give up. That's why I created the program I created. I was a director of training before, so I know how to create the content. So it's easy to understand. And if you ask any of our paid members, I'll tell you the same thing. Anyways, guys, listen, it's been an absolute pleasure, man. Seriously. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining. We love you all. Thank you for everybody who's bringing questions. Good questions, bad questions. They're, they're all questions. I don't know. They're all good. Keep coming back if you have any more. And uh, I hope, I really, really hope that you get the best out of your journey as to becoming a profitable trader. We're just here to make sure to help you out. Other than that, I will see everybody next Tuesday.